Hi y'all, it's Trisha with TransWest Trailers and today we're going to talk about a very important feature on your trailer and that's going to be your tires. It seems like so many people overlook tires, axles, and construction of trailer and they get really caught up in the fluff. So today we're going to focus primarily on tires and what you need to look at if you're replacing, purchasing, or just doing typical maintenance on your trailer. Um, first things first, on the tongue of your trailer there's going to be a federal certification label on there and we're going to go take a look at that because that's going to tell you what your axle capacity is, what kind of tires you need to have on your trailer, and what the maximum uh, PSI is. So let's go up there and take a look. Okay, so we're up here looking at our Vintag and you can see first thing it's going to show you who it's manufactured by. This is by Cimarron, the data manufacturer. You're also going to see where it's got gross vehicle weight rating. It's going to say 14,000 pounds. That's actual capacity for your axles. You have 7,000 pound axles, so it's telling you what that capacity is. As far as empty weight goes, it's not posted on these tags anymore. You will need to go ahead and take the trailer to a scale and get it weighed empty, dry, and loaded when it's, they call that wet. Um, you'll also see here what your tire is at. We have LT23585R16, 235, what the rim is, which is 16, and then also what the max PSI is going to be, which is 110, and then it's a single, not a dual wheel. And then you also have your VIN down here below. So let's go back to the tires and get a little more in depth. Okay, so first thing on your tires, you want to know how old your tire is. If it's over five to six years old, you automatically want to replace it. It doesn't matter how much tread you have left on here, replace it. Weather rot can really uh, wreck havoc when you're traveling. So if you want to know how old your tire is, it's pretty cool because it's actually stamped on here. So we're going to go along here where it says DOT. We're going to go to the back end where it's stamped out. You'll see a 10 and an 11. This 11 signifies that this tire was made in 2011. The 10 signifies that it was actually made the 10th week of 2011. So that way you know the age of your tire. Now, it is, I cannot stress enough how important it is to have the right tire on your trailer. It's something that gets so overlooked and then, it, you know, if you don't have the proper tire, if it doesn't have the right ply, if it's not the right size, I mean, you're going to have blowouts and you're, you're just going to be one unhappy camper and so are your horses. So this particular tire, we'll go here where we're going to see what kind of load range this tire has. That's going to tell us what ply it is. So we find load range G. Each letter actually stands for two. So if it's going to be E, you've got 10 ply, that's going to be G, you're actually looking at a 14 ply. So this is going to be a 14 ply tire. The size of tire, we've got LT, which stands for light truck. There's also ST tires, which are a really nice tire. You'll see them on, uh, on trailers as well. And they're actually a specialty trailer tire. Uh, they, do, they can carry a little bit more load range than what a light truck tire is, but you will see the LT uh, more common and more often than not. 235 is actually going to signify what the width is of this tire. Uh, then you've got 85, which will signify depth. R, which is radial, which is what I believe 98% of all tires are uh, that are produced. And then 16, which is going to be your rim. Okay, so if you want to check your tread depth, I've got a pretty cool tip, and most of you probably already know this. Um, you can actually take a penny and you insert Lincoln's head upside down here, and if you can't see the top of your, his head, you still have plenty of tread left. Now, if you can see the top of his head, if it's something like that, you've got two 30 seconds left uh, worth of tread on your, on your tires there and that's still technically legal, but on a trailer, it's actually recommended that you at least have four 30 seconds left. So that way, if you're running across water, snow, you've got enough tread uh, so you're not floating along that water and gonna hydroplane, and you're not just packing that snow in and not getting any traction. So if you need four 30 seconds, you actually take a quarter and insert that, and that'll tell you how much tread you have left. If you can see the top 
of, uh, of his head here. Washington said, I couldn't even remember. Then, uh, then you've got 430 seconds left of tread on your tire. You also have, and Sarah, I'd like you to get, I don't know if you can get a close up of this. You actually have built in wear bars on here as well. So you can see if once you start losing those, that's an automatic, uh, that's an automatic red flag that you need to go ahead and change your tires too. So that's just another kind of an interesting tip. Going back to the tire itself here, one thing I did want to point out is load range capacity. That's actually posted right underneath, uh, right underneath here. You can see max load single where we've got 3750. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and tell you what the cold PSI is, which is 110. Um, and you really do need to get in touch with your tire guy and find out what you need to be running these tires at. You can run into real issues if you're overinflated, underinflated. Um, a lot of people will automatically just do the do the 110, thinking that's the best way to go. And the issue you have there, if you are overinflated for what for what your load is, you're actually going to have less of a footprint going down the road. And what happens with that, it actually gives you a really, really hard ride for your horses. Because as that tire is overinflated like that, you have a smaller footprint and you're going to have really uneven wear on this tire. Now, if you underinflate the tire, it's actually going to start to roll and you're going to see a lot of uneven wear along the outsides of the tire there. Um, one thing you really have to watch too with an underinflated tire, these tires will get really, really hot and then you'll you'll start damaging these sidewalls because it's starting to roll and it won't take long before you've got an instant blowout and have a problem on your hands. So again, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to check the tire pressure, get with your uh, with your tire guy, you know, find out what kind of tires you have, you know, get with Goodyear, tell them, okay, this is what kind of load I'm running, where does my tire pressure need to be at? And they're more than happy to help you. Another thing to keep in mind too is the weather. Uh, it's really interesting because as, as it gets hotter, the PSI will increase and it gets as it gets cooler, the PSI will decrease. And you're actually looking at one to two PSI per every 10 degrees in Fahrenheit. So, I mean, if you suddenly have a 30 degree temperature drop, I mean, you could be talking, you know, six pounds of pressure just automatically gone. So again, so important, check that tire pressure every time before you go on a trip. Um, if you're storing these for the winter, for the summer, be sure to go ahead and get a cover to put on them to go ahead and protect these tires as well. So I hope this has helped you. Again, tires are so important and they're so overlooked. Don't get caught up in all the fluff. Make sure you've got the proper running gear on your trailer. Make sure you've got the right tires. Spend that extra money so you're not having all the blowouts. Take care of these and they will take care of you. I hope this helped. Please check back in for axle safety tips. We'll also be doing structure and a lot more safety videos coming up. It's Trisha with TransWest. Thank you very much. Hope to talk to you soon.